Hello and welcome to ProMind's Mind Planning module. This module allows to quickly generate reports and Gantt charts for the visualization of the different mining activities. This module can be found in the engineering category of ProMine, and this video will give a short overview of its main functions. Let's start with this drawing in which we can see three different types of objects that have been planned for this module. We can see the level drifts as white center lines, two different mining tasks represented as magenta blocks, and yellow mining blocks. These are the three different types of objects that allow to plan the whole operation. We can insert these objects with the insert command, and there we see that we have a choice on which objects to insert, along with dates that can always be inserted additionally. First, we are selecting a drift to insert and indicate the placement of this drift. A window will open in which we can configure this drift, assign a name, advance rate, grades, elevations, and, as an important planning mechanism, the predecessors. The predecessors can be picked in the drawing or out of a sortable list that can also apply filters. Based on these predecessors and the advance rate, the dates will be calculated. Next we are inserting a task, using the same command and then selecting task. As these types are also customizable, we are just using the drill and blast task as an example to set before we can access a scope. We assign a name, duration and predecessors again. Now that we have the level access and the drill and blast tasks, we can insert the scope. This is going to be our mining block. Out of the selection, we are selecting the correct one and insert it into the drawing. In the window, we can assign the name, tonnage and the mining rate. Also, grades and predecessors. All three objects and its characteristics, as well as their needed resources and materials, are completely customizable. With all the information inserted into the drawings, we can quickly generate some reports. We select the command report and then have access to a list of different reports. We are going to start with the advanced report. So we select the type and then all planned advances. In the following window, we can configure the report, the time divisions, output format, date range, and that we want subdivisions. We're going to select an automatic date range as we want the full report. And we can set an advanced speed for reference that will be inserted into the graph. Select OK and the report will automatically be inserted into the drawing. By using the report command again, we can this time insert a report about the different materials used. Select the report and then all objects in the drawing and press enter. In the following window, we can configure which materials we want to report about and select OK and the report will be inserted. Next, we're going to insert a tonnage report. In the report selection, we're using the tonnage and waste report, then select our tasks and mining blocks and configure the report again. Now two different reports will be inserted, one for the tonnage and one for the waste. And because we have the subdivisions again, we can identify where they come from. The last report to insert is the Gantt chart which visualizes the planned sequences. Once more, we use the command report, select the Gantt chart this time, and then all objects in the drawing. The configuration window is similar to the other ones, but it is also possible to configure the color of the different blocks and the dimensions. After selecting OK, the Gantt chart will be inserted. This concludes this quick overview of the mine planning module. If you have any questions about this or other modules of ProMine, please write us at info at ProMine.com. Thanks for watching.